Hello, beautiful, and welcome. Thank you for being here and gracing me with your presence. Greatly appreciate it. Today, we're watching America's Next Top Model season eight and nine makeovers. If you're asking me, why does your arm look like an ombre, Brad? Well, you guys, this is what happens when you wear short sleeves a lot. I'm sorry. I don't remember season eight or nine at all. I quickly looked at the pictures of all the girls in season eight and nine. Literally don't recognize any of them. I don't know what the hell is about to happen with these makeovers. I hope they're good. My last America's Next Top Model makeover video was such a bore, honestly. Like, nothing happened. None of them got good makeovers. Like, what the f***? What is that? Tyra really let me down. I'm still not happy about it. So hopefully Tyra can redeem herself today and give me some decent makeovers. That is literally all that I want in my life. I just feel like that's not a lot to ask for. So if you could help me out, Tyra Banks, and give me something to work with, that'd be f Great. So you guys know the deal. I am a professional hairdresser. I'm gonna give you my opinion on all these makeovers today and we'll see who gets the best makeover out of the two seasons. Let's do it. I feel like Moira from Schitt's Creek would totally wear these gloves. Like this is so gay. Somebody asked me how heavy my neck was with all these chains on. And I would say probably like five pounds. Like this one's definitely the heaviest. Like it actually kind of hurts. I can't wait to take them off once I'm done. Starting with season eight, of course. Let's check it out. Let's see what happens. Well, good morning. Good morning. Yes, Jay. Which they're here with Nico, who is a really good friend of ours. Nico's actually even worked with Tyra since she was 17 years old. Okay, Nico. We have makeovers today. I said we're not even doing this this season because every season the girls are crying and I don't want people to see me with my hair weave tracks out. I don't want to cut my hair. So you don't think my hair is like No. The shade. I don't know. Do you want them? Yes. yes. Tell me again. Give it to us. We want the tires. JL. So we're gonna take your hair long and down to here. Ooh. Oh, girl. What the hell was going on with her hair? Well, thank God they're doing something. Cause that was a a mess. She better get a weave or something. You're not gonna be a blonde anymore. You're going to be a brunette. Ooh, that looks so good on her. You have a wig sewn on top of your head, which I have never heard of before in my life. You've never heard of that, Tyra? Wig is coming. It's like a normal thing. But you're getting a weave. Down to here, thick and curly and wavy, big, beautiful afro. Yes, we love a good weave moment. Face, strong shoulders and hair just kind of in the way. Yeah. Weird. Chopping it off, Yolanda style, cycle two. Oh, that's gonna look so pretty. And a girl with such beautiful personality, beautiful sparkle, beautiful shine, needs a lot of beautiful hair down in here, curly wig. She's getting a weave. Diana, you're gonna go blonde and even maybe a couple of weave tracks to make it thicker. And Ooh. Felicia, we are going to give you bangs to here. <gasps> all that breakage, that'll be all covered but we're not stopping here. You know I'm not one to try and pick on people's looks. When there's an elephant in the room, I must talk about it. And the elephant, the giant elephant in the room right now, these eyebrows, what happened there? But yes, Tyra, please give her bangs and cover up that poor breakage in the front of her hair. Ooh, it is looking snapped. This is only one layer. Your next layer is down to here. This is only one layer. Dion, I love your side ponytail. I think it is so pretty, but there's something else that will work for you too. What is that? Do you know the singer Khalees? Yes. You know how her hair was short oh, and the heavy yeah. thing in the front, Sarah. The heavy thing in the front. Shape you up a little bit and add a little dirtiness in there. Cause right now it's just completely flat. Yeah, please change up her hair. It's like a middle school bowl cut, like Justin Bieberish. I hate like, you know, saying that cause everybody's like, oh my God, you have a bowl cut? Like you look like Justin Bieber. Like no, not everybody looks like Justin Bieber with a bowl cut. She actually looks like Justin Bieber with a bowl cut. Jasmine, there's a lot. Oh, I remember Jasmine. So we're gonna have to bring that up. So we're gonna work with that, make it thick body and flowing. Brittany, you're a girl that can almost handle anything. Long wavy red hair, big and bushy. Ooh. And last but not least, Natasha. What you're gonna be getting is a Vidal Sassoon inspired cut. It's gonna be a little shorter in the back and come And it's gonna be chocolate brown. Oh, these are really good makeovers. I'm so excited. Are we ready? Oh boy. I'm gonna go uh, light brown. 
brings out my facial features. It really is. Whoa! That looks so much better. The brown hair on her is such a vibe. I mean, the blonde's really pretty on her. I think it really compliments her skin tone a lot. I think she really just needed a new haircut, which thankfully she got. However, the brown, I really enjoy. It's a fun change for her and it really brings out the warmth in her skin and makes her look a lot more tan. I really, really enjoy this. What's up, Wombi? My head is burning a little bit. Oh, they're the relaxing her hair. Got my hair cut like this. I'm loving it. Whoa! Okay, she looks really, really pretty with this shorter haircut. I think the haircut she had before was like girl next door, like whatever, like yeah, you're cute, you're pretty, whatever. But after she had that side fringe moment, it's just doing so much more for her face shape. And I really like the darker color on her. It really makes her skin pop and it's gorgeous. Okay, season eight, I feel you. I'm gonna feel about having thick hair because I can't even clean the hair out of my brush. <laughs> oh God, Dead don't give her fake hair. Me out. I had my hair dyed a whole bunch of times. I mean, I can put up with it if I have to. I'd yeah, rather not be burned if I don't have to be. I am very happy that I'm going to get an afro. I love how it gives you a little natural facelift. I handled it and, <laughs> and the afro came out. <gasps> Whoa! To our photo shoots. Oh yeah, I mean that hair before grow. Oh, whoa, <laughs> you know what I mean? Looks like a grown out wig. The hair after, I really, really love it. It just really works for her and her face shape. It just looks very natural on her, which I really appreciate. But I wish they gave her some curly bangs. She does have a little bit of a longer forehead, which, you know, happens. But the bangs would have covered that up a little bit and just gave her, you know, more all around texture instead of just the texture being all around here. Around here would have been nice also. By chopping off my hair, I felt like they just chopped off all this anger, resentment. Oh, she's so pretty. I remember her. Very, very good. Oh, I mean, she looks the same. <gasps> Whoa, hacking her. What kind of changes they're meant to make a difference for you. Right. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh. To see what it looks like. <gasps> oh, she got a mullet. She said, "Do whatever you want." And they said, "A mullet is for you." They tapped it right on the nose, and they said, "Mullet, muller over, baby." I love a mullet. You guys know that. And the funny thing about mullets is, I love predicting the mother hair future because mullets are making a super comeback right now. I don't know if you've noticed, but everybody wants a damn mullet. And you know what I said for the last two years that mullets were gonna come back and then I want a mullet and then I haven't done it yet and I just like need to, but mullets are a f thing, man. Everybody will have a mullet next year. Everybody, it's gonna be the coolest thing ever. I enjoy this haircut. I mean, it's very of the time period uh, in the early 2000s, I think this was. It's very intense. Maybe the styling could have been different. Maybe like wavy would have been nicer. It's a little rough. I don't hate it. I think the styling is just really off. Get normal people here, I don't know how to act. Oh, I actually kind of like her hair the way it is right now. I'm kind of sad they're changing it. It's part one. It was very like rock star before. It have to be wild, but it's not good. I remember this girl. She was wild. Tyra yeah. assigned me bangs and a dark. Oh my god. <gasps> ah! This makeover is 100,000% going on my best makeovers list. That just changed her, made her a model. That wig before was not cutting it. It was blending into her skin tone. I'm so glad they covered her eyebrows. If you're watching Felicia, I'm so sorry, but make them thicker. The darker color on her. <gasps> Splendid, fabulous, beautiful, amazing. Exactly what I needed. Wow, that picture of her is really pretty too. I'm sorry, I'm just like obsessed with this makeover. Wow. I love your spirit to death. And I know you got model in you. I think that it proves any look <laughs> for me. Oh my God, this was amazing also. Not on my favorites list. I mean, the before, I think it was just a bad picture of her. Thankfully, they actually took before pictures this season because it was it was rough the past few seasons. I definitely think she looks more like a model after. I don't know, she looks like two totally different kinds of models. One is like, could be kind of like a surfer girl moment. Also like, could be high fashion. The next one is like, boom, high fashion baby. Let me give it to you, high fashion all the way. I don't love the bangs. I like the dark hair. All around, a pretty good makeover. I'm glad we're getting stuff this season. We're getting makeovers, we're getting things. It's fresh. Thank you, Tyra. Oh, don't give, the, don't give her a weave. That looks so painful. It'll be such a long ordeal because and it looks literally terrible. I think the short hair looked way better on her. I think if they just gave her like a really short pixie cut, it would have been spectacular. 
spectacular. I don't know why they gave her this length and this red color. Maybe the red color is fine, but the length and the curl is just, something's not really adding up here. Something's not working out. I like her short hair way better. This was a really bad makeover. <laughs> yes, Afro. I want it and more. Oh! So pretty. She looks the same. It's really pretty hair. Kind of boring, but really pretty, and she looks amazing. I was blonde before, but I did it myself. But I really like this. This is very, it's very cute, and I think I'm gonna stay like this for a long time. She looks the same. Boring. She's making me yawn. Like, uh. <laughs> More weaves. It takes about eight hours to complete my new fabulous do. I felt sorry for oh, Brittany and That looks JL so painful. I know that hurt like crazy. See how I'm transforming into normal? There are things that we're really fighting here with your hair. Braided weave only comes so high, and then we had to glue multiple tracks in. It's not taking you to that elevated look. I would hate for it to hurt your chances in the competition. Right. So yeah, with that being hair. said, we're gonna take the whole thing out. <laughs> Sean is gonna do a really short, kind of very Rosemary's baby cut. Dude, she must be in so much pain and now they're gonna remove all of them. I would not wanna be you right now. I hate sitting to get my hair done. That's rough. Is my hair being cut off? I just feel kind of traumatized. Your face looks absolutely She looks so good. For a minute, so decide whether or not you wanna own it. I'm gonna own this. Hell yeah, you are. Oh, yeah, yeah. That looks so much better than the blonde. I love that they cut it short. The long hair was just not really working for me either. Excelente, por favor, give me more. So that was season eight makeovers. And of course, I only had one favorite, which was Felicia. So let's see if in season nine, anybody can top that makeover. It's a hard one to top. Let's see what happens. This screen is going to be a picture of what you look like now. And then your picture is gonna morph into your new look that I've chosen for you. So let's start with Ambrielle. We feel like when you're modeling in your photo shoot, you are so elegant. And an elegant woman can handle almost no hair. Oh! So cool. Okay, cute. Digital images of her hair. You know, it's time for change, and I'm fine with this change. Up next is Bianca. This is what Bianca looks like. Bianca. This is what Bianca is going to look like. Okay, Bianca with the wee, with the blonde highlights. No, I get it. So you are getting a long golden blondish weave. So we are saying goodbye to purple hair. Good. She needs to get rid of that. And because you have such a strong face, we're going with this. Oh my God. Ah! Ooh, that's scary. Oh, I'm just from Yale and I'm not into modeling. I don't know how to model. Because of that, we want to give you the edge that you deserve. You're gonna get <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take this seriously. This morphing moment is a tragic mess. So bad, I'm so sorry, darling, but let's not do that. You tried, you didn't quite make it. You're gonna get a weave. Great, a weave she doesn't need at all. So we said, oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay. No, my hair's short. Wow. Like Tyra loves these like asymmetrical pixie cuts. She does it on a lot of people. It's really not that good of a look. We see this big baby blue eyes, these pretty big lips that walked into casting. I've decided to take you to the very big next 10 million steps level. Wow. Ooh, she's gonna go blonde. Ethereal blonde hair. Janet, beautiful pictures, but in person, this girl doesn't look like a model. Yeah! Okay. I hear that your hair has been just a mess. You got all kind of rubber cement glue wig up in your head. This is what we're gonna do with you. Uh, Ooh, okay. It well, kind of looks like her hair now, but. Naomi Campbell will give you some confidence. Tyra mentions Naomi. I thought they didn't like each other. You know, you can be this catalog girl and totally work. High fashion is not gonna come to you. You have to come to high fashion. Oh! That's different. Bro. Louise Brooks cut can save a commercial girl. Okay. Long, straight hair. What can we do with that? This. As you can see, we're hardly changing your hair. Boring. So you're gonna get a little trim. You're gonna get a little bit more chestnut brown added. They are making me platinum blonde. Oh, good f 
Black. Platinum blonde. I'm gonna look like a street walker. They think that they're gonna take that red out of her hair. I can't wait to see this. They're like, oh, don't worry. We're cutting it all off. There you go. I've been wanting to go short for a while. The only reason I didn't was because I was convinced that I would look like my mom. But then it was blonde and I looked nothing like her. Ah. It's <laughs> Again, she looked way more like a model before. I say that all the damn time in this show, but if she showed up on set with the the after look, I'd be like, what is this? But if she showed up with the before look, I'd be like, great, a blank canvas. I can do whatever I want. I can create with this. But I get it. It's a TV show. They need to, you know, do something. Like, as long as I wasn't going bald, yeah. this is okay. She's so pretty. Tears would have been <laughs> nonstop. I'm going blonde. I've never dyed my hair. I'll be a smart blonde. I've never felt this. Be a smart blonde. It's so funny that a haircut will just do that for you. I feel very happy. I'm really, really, really happy with my makeover. Looks more or less the same. Not bad. I'll take it. It's something. They added like bangs and layering and that's it. Oh! Fine, I'll let you some here. I was expecting some drama. Make it burn. Ken is me. Is this on your skin? Yeah. Oh. Is that Name is cutting ebony. Is that uh, glue to her skin? Yeah, like glue clunks up behind. Her wig was bad. I love my wig, and she just took it off, and now I feel like <gasps> lovely and sad. Whoa. Ooh, good. They're doing U-tip hair extensions instead of a weave on the white girls because you know the white hair cannot handle the pressure of a hair extension sewn in to the head. Black girls' hair can handle it. That's why we don't do weaves on white people. A lot. I like my hair since it's much more polished, but I mean, they really didn't do much to it, so I'm not all woohoo. Like, I'll wear it just like this. I know I can rock the new look. I really like the black hair, it looks good. Wow, her body, too. Oh, girl, hello, don't turn me straight. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Don't do that to me. Hot. Damn, she's a hotter makeup boy. Oh, they really laid that hair, okay? I'm very excited. Oh my god! I'm Brielle! This looks really good. That little tiny baby bang they gave you with the straight hair with the the cut. Ooh, and this picture, you look. She's going on my favorites list. I feel like since I look so different that I just like should be different. I feel like I should just kick all your ass. Oh, okay. It's not as edgy as I am, but I get used to it. You went from having black hair to platinum blonde. Oh, those extensions are really bad. It was a big makeover to do in one day, so I don't, I'm not blaming the hairdresser. They did a decent job for what they were given. Bringing her from black hair to platinum blonde in one day with the hair extensions. I don't want to be that hairstylist to do that. I mean, she looks good. She looks cool. But girl, your hair was not edgy before. I mean, they definitely made you edgier. So take it. Let's talk about Bianca. Her hair is not going to go blonde. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. She's got a perm in it and she's got that collar deposit. A perm? Out the bleach, she's got so much breakage. Right. With bleach, her hair's gonna fall off in the sink. So I think you should start your treatment process and we'll figure this out. I don't know what they're doing to me and I feel like I'm left out. She has a perm. She has red over bleached hair. <gasps> Uh-uh. Remember when I said in the beginning, they're not gonna make her blonde? <laughs> There's no f***ing way. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Exactly what I expected, but I'm glad for something. Hot. She just looks hot. It was like a okay makeover. I, I do, I really like the short hair on her. She looked good. With, I mean, she has a beautiful face. I'm glad they pushed the hair out of it to see more of her face. It was just really painful at first because the braids were so tight. It just felt like my scalp was bleeding. But I'm happy with it. It's pretty. Wow, again, great body. Whew. These girls. More or less the same, a little more length, a little more luxury. It was nice. It's really important to both Tyra and I about the preservation of your hair because it's really, really damaged and you need to start fresh. So what we're gonna do is Trishana's gonna cut your hair off. Yes. Ken has offered us these medical wigs with that, you know, the, the latex edge. It's called a lace front. That's what we're gonna use on you in shoots. Okay. How do you feel about that? You look upset, tell me. Okay. Okay. Girl, you need to shave your head. You need to. I felt so bad because all you saw was the tears just falling from her eyes. Girl, your hair's holding on for dear life. Let it go. I would have went bananas because that's a big change. This is emotional. Like, this is really hurting me. I felt defeated. I never cut my hair drastically on mine. This was a shock. I wasn't expecting it. It's not what I took right now. I was so nervous coming here today. I was like, ah, 
Yeah. And it was so dark. Hair. Wait, her hair? <laughs> like, I love it. Yay. Perfect. I definitely feel more high fashion. There's a lot going on right now. New level of confidence. I can't wait to bring to the next photo shoot. Chantel, beautiful. Not a huge change, but gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lace front. It just doesn't make me feel like myself. Okay, wait. <laughs> what the f was that wig they just put on her head? Um, I don't know. But Bianca, you're going on my favorites list without the wig. Like the shaved head. Can we get that up here? Like so beautiful with the shaved head. So much better. My head is like swollen. I'm gonna be doing that for a while, huh? It's gonna take some getting used to. But it, it really changed my Oh. Life. I'm not your average girl next door. I'm fierce. Nope. <laughs> you are definitely not your average girl next door anymore. This is a big change. I don't know. It's like a bowl cut bob situation. I don't love it. It's like interesting. I'm glad they switched up her hair to something a little more interesting, but really not loving it. That looks like a haircut you get on set for a photo shoot as a model rather than a cut you show up with, you know? Those were a lot of makeovers. Whew. So my favorite makeover from season eight, of course, was Felicia. She was the only one I really liked. Such a fabulous makeover. She looked uh, amazing with that new hair. And then from season nine, I loved Ambrielle's and I loved Chantel's and Bianca's hair. But there can only be one favorite out of the two seasons. And that is... Are you ready? It was Felicia. Felicia, oh my God, that hair before was a tragic mess. The hair after, again. Yes, they saved you, girl. They did that for you and it was incredible. That was my favorite makeover by far. Wow, 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 wow. Yes, 10 out of 10, check mark, five stars, boom. Yes. I love myself some good America's Next Time Model makeovers. And that pretty much sums up the makeovers for today. Make sure you guys follow me on all the different social media networks, including Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at BradMondoNYC. You can check out my Facebook page and my Snapchat show under Brad Mondo. And of course, make sure you check out X Mondo Hair at xmondohair.com. You can also find us on Instagram at xmondohair. We have an upcoming product launch, so stay tuned for that. And also I wanted to mention one other thing. You guys ask me all the the time what hair products I recommend out of the selection of the X model products we have. And now I can give you guys a personalized recommendation with our hair quiz. You can find it, it's linked below. It's also on our website homepage. This quiz, you fill in your hair type, your hair texture, what your goals are with your hair and anything else you are concerned with about your hair. And it'll recommend four products for you that are perfect for your hair and what your desired look is. Even though I can't answer all of you guys, that quiz is there and it's been helping people a lot and I'm so excited excited about it. We worked on this quiz for so long. Check it out. Go take it. Let me know what products you get. All I want in life is for everybody to have beautiful, fabulous, amazing hair to make them feel more confident and look like a snack. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. This is WaveTech Wave Foam. If you have dull, lifeless hair, you have no wave in your hair, or you have a ton of wave, but your hair is really frizzy and the wave doesn't stay very well, this is for you. It's also amazing for those of you with straight hair who want a natural looking wave and don't want to use any heat tools. 